Telehim, a psalm, 12. To the chief singer on lyre, a psalm of Dawith. Save, Yahuwah, for the kind one is no more. For the trustworthy have ceased from among the sons of men. They speak falsehood with each other. Flattering lips and a double heart they speak. Yahuwah cuts off all flattering lips. A tongue that speaks swelling words. Who said, with our tongue we do mightily. Our lips are our own. Who is master over us? Because of the oppression of the poor. Because of the sighing of the needy. I now arise, says Yahuwah. I place in safety. He pants for it. The words of Yahuwah are clean. Silver tried in a furnace of earth. Refined seven times. You guard them, O Yahuwah. You preserve them from this generation forever. The wicked walk around on every side when worthlessness is exalted among the sons of men. Family, what came to you while I was reading? What came to me was verse 5. Because of the oppression of the poor, because of the sighing of the needy, so the poor often are the people who are humble, those who have humbled themselves to see the truth. And the needy are the physical poor people in want, in need. We are to give to the needy. That's truly what a perfect fast is, is when we fast and take the money we would have spent in food and we give it to someone who is in need physically poor person now if they have a sign that they're going to use the money or you know for um something not good then you know you don't give it to him them you use discernment it reminds me of proverbs mishlei 28 27 he who gives to the poor does not lack but he who hides his eyes has many curses and it reminds me of matthew 25 when son of man is talking and he says, For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not take me in. Was naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also shall answer him, saying, Adonai, when do we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not serve you? Then he shall answer them, saying, Truly, I say to you, in, as, in so far as you did not do to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And they shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into everlasting kai life. Hallelujah. Hooah. What are you taking away from this family? I know in my journey, the Most High had to soften my heart about giving to the poor because I always would say like, well, how do I know what they're going to do with it? What if they, you know, do something, whatever with it? But that that's the thing. You give, the most high will reward you and hey, let it be on him what they do with it. Surrender, let it go. You know what I mean? That's what I had to do. And so, um, yeah, uh, when you talk to the poor, the actual people in want and need, they have so much faith and they see all the evil in the world. It's truly amazing having conversations with them. I love it. All praise and esteem to the Most High.